What's up guys? It is Tim and I'm doing a Napoleon Total Factions let's play on Napoleon Total War. So let's get right into Napoleon's Total Factions. And I've thought about this quite a while and you know what? I'm going to be Romania and we will conquer people. So let's get this going. Yeah, my last um, Italian campaign I tried to do, I mean, I had some good content in there. It was just that the Italian campaign was getting a little uh, boring-ish, and I wasn't really posting regularly. But now I will post these videos regularly, and I hope you guys have fun on this Let's Play journey. And let's get to it. All right, there's our puny little Romanian colony. If we won't even want to call it that, it's pretty crappy. We need some troops to defend our territories first off. Let's do some diplomacy. All right, Hungary, you look pretty hungry. <laughs> All right, trade agreement. Two hundred thirty dollars. <sighs> okay, whatever. We're a small nation. We need income. All right, Ottoman Empire. Let's trade with you guys. All right, whatever. I don't know why people are demanding my money. I mean, it really sucks being a small nation. But don't worry, Romania will be up there. Romania will be awesome. Now I'm thinking what we could do here for our first move. I'm looking at other city states around us, see we can attack them without making another major nation mad at us. War declared. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about the Austrians and the Hungarians and the Greeks over here. I think a lot of people personally don't like Romania. These people right here, I think, will be our first targets, but we need to get through the Ottoman Empire somehow. Alright, nothing doing here. We need a fort to protect our people. We want Bucharest to be a very safe place for our people to hang out and have fun and be Romanians. Denmark. Ooh, Denmark. We go back. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Oh, uh, really now? Building farms here will help the population to grow. Alright, shut up. Clearances. We need those. We need to build some cavalry. I think our idea will be, um, we're going to build up a massive army, and we're going to go down here and attack Istanbul, and we're going to loot it, we're going to burn it to the ground and take all their cash. That idea may just be crazy enough to get us all killed! You know what, Squidward? Shut up, okay? I call the shots, not you, buddy. There's an Ottoman army over here. Romania for the win. Build an ordnance foundry, yes. Get some men up. Yet another turn. France, Austria, all the major nations. Don't worry, we'll be we'll be in business. We got this. As Romanians we are strong people. Alright, we built some horses. Alright, line infantry. We have those. Alright. Um. Alright, we have a lot of money. But we need to get some good weaponry. Romania is in, in no position to attack anybody at the moment. We can barely defend ourselves.
Look at all those Ottomans running around. Admiral available. Yeah, like we have a navy that we could use. Maybe we can build up our farm. Nah. Pimp my farm. Just slowly building up our forces. France. Austria. I have a really bad feeling about Austria. I don't know why. Austria and the Ottomans. I think Romania is pretty much a nuisance to all of them. Because I think I'm blocking their way around south. Got our fort built. Got our men. We need 27 hundo. Alright. We'll get 2700. We're a little strapped for cash here. We just need to keep upgrading our lands, get more income, build some armies. Because Romania is really poor at the moment. You know, we need some friends. Romania can't do this alone. Great estates. Alright, who can be my friend? These guys, will you be my friends? Man, you guys are really, really stuck up. Will you guys be my friends? What? Aww. Will you guys be my friends? No one will be my friends. Oh well. Let's build some more men. I'm gonna save up in so we can build some howitzers. Cause those are the way to go. We're just gonna need a lot of cash to build the the um battery thing. The building. It's not like we're starting as a major nation here. We're a minor one colony state here. Can barely sustain ourselves. I mean we do have a factory, but we have no technological schools. Maybe we can go get some technology from France. And then we'll give you... Um... Okay. Well, I tried. I tried to sell Romania as a great state, but... I guess Napoleon wasn't going for it. Alright, we need 3k. Just need $3,000 in the bank of Romania here. Being recruited. Admiral available. Now, do we need infrastructure? No. We just need $3,000. That's all I'm asking for. I think that is a suffice demand. I just need a thousand more dollars. I think we'll get it next turn, not this turn, but the turn after this one. We might get 3,000. I'm not sure, though. With our income level. Alright, yeah, we'll definitely get it next turn. I'm just waiting for everybody to get their turns done. I mean, we have nothing doing here. Pretty soon, Romania will be the dominant power. You'll see. 
I think we should just capture Istanbul and use it as a base of operations. But I don't know. Other nations might hate us for it. Alright, now all we have to do is wait for eight turns as that builds up. Great Britain, Prussia, all those good guys here. Bavaria. See, no one likes Romania. No one wants to be their friends. Maybe if I start expanding, people will see how powerful I am and be like, Hey, Romania, you want to be allies? And I'll be like, yeah. Um... Plus 5% in there. In general, so there's too much consideration. Alright, Uncle Pator, you are now the general. Congratulations. France and Austria. I just saw an Austrian flag flicker in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. That can't be good. Trying to beat up on little old Romania. Well, we'll give him a fight. Well, we'll just keep getting light infantry here and there. Slowly building up our armed forces. We'll make um we'll make a um dash for eighteen oh six to capture the Ottoman capital. That will be our plan. Alright. 